I have just ordered Sony A7 III. Hi everyone, I have an announcement today. I have just ordered Sony A7 III and will be selling my Nikon D750. So today I'm going to talk about number one, why am I releasing Nikon D750? Number two, why did I choose A7 III? Number three, which lens did I order? Okay. Let's get started. One of the major reasons for releasing Nikon D750 is its slowness of the AF speed when I'm using LCD screen. And the minor reason is to sell it before the decrease in trading price. It's already been three years since its release. So I suspect that a new version of D750 will soon be released and that there will be a decline in the trading price so now is the time. D750 was my first serious camera. At the beginning, I wasn't quite sure of what my photo style performance will turn out to be. So I tried every seasonal event, festival, motor show, stars, aircraft, long exposure scenery, and more. Yes, I tried every kind of photo shooting style possible. But after getting Fujifilm X-T2, I realized that I particularly enjoyed street photography. Having had my photo style established, I started using LCD screen more instead of looking at the finder. Of course, you can use LCD screen on D750, but as you know, it makes the AF speed much slower. So this is the main reason why I haven't used D750 as much. The usability of mirrorless camera fits my photo style. I've talked about my fondness of mirrorless in the video here. Take a look if you are interested. So as my photo style was concentrated to street photography, it became clear what might be the most suitable camera for me. I'll be missing Nikon D750 because I started learning photography with the camera and began my channel with it. But I decided to sell it for Sony A7 III. Okay, next. Number two. Why I chose A7 III? I already have X-T2, which is APS-C sensor camera, so I wasn't interested in smaller sensor cameras, and my focus was on full frame. As you know, there are only a few camera makers selling full frame mirrorless cameras now. I believe Nikon will be making one of them, so I could have waited for it. But I thought I'm not going to buy the first generation of theirs since it's a common knowledge that the first generation cameras are not as sophisticated. Now, Sony is a pioneer of full frame mirrorless. The quality and the reputation is superb and proved. Some people asked me on Instagram, why didn't you choose A7R3 since I uploaded its topics on Instagram stories? The reason why I didn't choose R is because it's a massive megapixel camera. If you have seen my photos, you can guess that I don't need it. I believe it's for the photographers who take pictures of wildlife, which is very vivid and realistic and who must be a pixel peeper. Also, it must be useful if you often crop the pictures. All these conditions don't fit my photo style. I don't take wildlife and I'm not a pixel peeper. And I don't crop my pictures at all because I don't want to destroy the composition. Also, heavy files are difficult to handle. I've been using D750 and X-T2, both of which have 24 megapixels, and I believe they are more than enough. So, my choice was A7 III. Okay, next. Number three, which lens did I order? Choosing lenses is a happy nightmare, isn't it? I thought I'd be getting the kit lens, a prime lens from Sony, and an adapter to use with my Nikon lenses. But I changed my mind after seeing a Sony store staff. She said she would never recommend the kit lens for experienced photographers. It's for the novice 
who is not exactly specific with the quality, and she would neither recommend FE 50mm f1.8. I realized that Sony doesn't have a lens like Nikon's 50mm f1.8, which is low price but high performance. The lady was honest but has great sales skill. Now I have to find high price lenses. So my lens plan has changed. My new plan was to get one zoom lens for general photo shooting like travel photography and one prime lens for street photography. 24 to 70 mm f2.8 G Master is well known for the quality, but it wasn't my choice not only because of the high price but also the focal distance. I love telephoto lenses, so 70 mm is too short for me. I have 24 to 70 mil f2.8 from Tamron for D750, but I didn't use it as much as Nikon 24 mil to 120 mil f4. So I chose FE 24 to 105 mil f4 GOSS, and the other prime lens is Sonar T Star FE 55 mil f1.8 ZA. Sony store staff recommend it, and the reputation is very high. I compared it with 50mm f1.4, but f1.4 is too heavy for street photography, and Sigma will be releasing f1.4 lenses for Sony E-mount soon. Upon its release, I may reconsider if I really want to have f1.4. Okay, please comment if you are a Sony E-mount user. Which lens is your favorite? A7 III release date in Japan is 23rd of March, but unfortunately I won't be able to receive it until the 25th due to my absence. I'll be updating my Instagram stories. Please check it out. By the way, some of my viewers asked me if I were interested in Fujifilm X-H1. Uh, not for now, and I'm not planning to trade it with my X-T2. Okay, please press good if you like my video and subscribe my channel. Don't forget to turn on post notification on Instagram. See you soon at the next video. Bye!